time for the Bridgestone Thundersport 500. Steve's on the grid. So it's time for the second Bridgestone Thundersport 500 race. Steve Tome's on pole position. It's going to be a good one. A full grid of all sorts of riders, all different shapes and sizes. Robin, over to you. Fantastic. Yeah. Different shapes and sizes indeed. But uh, the one thing that is exactly the same is the machinery on these glorious 500s. And they're not all Hondas. We have a couple of Kawasaki's out there. Charge down into Gerard's for the first time, and that is Rocky Reed showing very well at the start of this second race team. Yes, and considering he's uh, claimed he's not been on a motorcycle for 10 years, he's doing very well. But Steve Tomes has soon got his way into the front. Of course, the first race was a little bit damp, so the first chance of the 500 we've had of the day in the dry. So keep your eyes out for the likes of Andy Lawson, 112. Tansley, of course, want to make up for that form earlier. Trip. Yep, Stuart Campbell, who's very kindly let... Oh, oh Steve! Steve Tones gets off it at the air bin of Steve. I tell you what, he's a rare sight, Steve, isn't he? It is, yes, um, and luckily he gets up because sometimes those slow high sides can be really nasty, but uh, luckily Steve's up and off, but that's a uh, very interesting uh, crash there. But luckily he's walking away, Rocky Reed then it is the lead, he's got a couple of bike legs now over second place. I'm just going to say that Steve Tone's part of company with the machinery there, that uh, Stuart Campbell is the chap who's very kindly lent his spare machine to Andy Lawson, who picked up the first win earlier on. And uh, we can see him there in that little group chasing the leaders at the moment. But, uh, yeah, Luke Tansy, again, as we mentioned, moved up from the moved from the 600s. But you wouldn't stretch that far again, but look at him there. Number two, boy, he's a very tall young rider indeed, up there into fourth place. Yes, Richard Blunt, uh, the newcomer with the orange vest, currently in second position. So there's Rocky Reed, the leader, then Blunt, then Lawson, then Tansley, then Daryl Harrison, there's Owens and Kyle Wilkes. John Owens, a good finish earlier on, and he's with that leading group again. But look at this, Andy Lawson just tucking out behind Rocky Reed. And he runs a little wide though into Gerrard's and Rocky Reed says thanks very much and moves back to the front taking Richard Blunt with him. Good maneuver by Andy Lawson but he's lost out again there. He's back to fourth as uh, Luke Tansy takes advantage and look at Luke oh. under braking. Can he get it stopped? He what a can. Move. Brilliant stuff from Luke Tansy there from fourth to first uh, and really good to see Andy Lawson uh, on the fly and Scott's been very brave to got the inside of two into Gerrard's there but He's, uh, he's come off worse there as he's down into fourth, but he's made his way back up into third again, and he's going to have the look up the inside. Well, it was the only place to go there, I think, for Andy Lawson, and somehow he's managed to stay on circuit. Right, somehow, this leading group of seven, frankly, at the moment, this is anybody's. It is Luke Tansley at the moment, who just has the lead from Andy Lawson, but uh, he reads right back there with him. Yeah, further back, the great thing about Tansley. As you get battles right the way down through the field. We said earlier it was a huge entry, which meant that the non qualifiers had to have their own cup race. But look at this lot a seven way train uh, with Jonathan Owens, number seven, tacked on the back of it at the moment. Oh, and uh, some classic overtaking there from Andy Lawson. He takes the wide entry so that he can get the drive on the inside out of Shores and manages to then go around the outside into the bus stop to take the lead. Brilliant stuff from Andy Lawson. He looks like he's having fun on that 500. Certainly is there, the chasing pack. That's uh, Alan Brookbanks once again, number 48 there. Yes, and David Castle, 111, also part of that gaggle. But at the front here's uh, Luke Tansley then, the former Superstock 600 runner. And uh, he won't want to lose it into Edwina's again, like he did in race one. Hopefully, drier than it was then. Daryl Harrison there. Daryl will be looking to try and get himself on the podium this year. He got himself a win last year, so keep an eye on him. There we see uh, Craig Jeff, number 16, just behind David Carson. Yes, a bit of a, a breakaway at the front. We had seven, then we had six, and now there's uh, substantially five of them, as we see the last that flag uh, out. And uh, Andy Lawson has just nicked past. He holds the lead at the moment from Luke Tansy. Wonderful uh, 
uh, run by the rookie shirt there of Richard Blunt. He can't quite catch him at the flag. And that is a really good win for Andy Lawson. This time pushed all the way by Luke Tansley. Fantastic season in prospect from the Thundersport 500. Lawson the winner from Tansley. Richard Blunt third, Daryl Harrison fourth, Kyle Wilkes fifth and Mike Bailey in sixth on the podium and he lost in between Luke Tansley and Richard Blunt. It's the one, two, three. In the standings, well, Andy Lawson with those couple of wins uh, helping him to the championship lead from Luke Tansley. Rocky Reed third, Richard Blunt fourth, Steve Tones up there in fifth.